Hello my honeys, welcome back to my YouTube channel where I, Kayla Kim K, cover all things hair, food, fashion, and lifestyle. Oh my gosh! 10 more days. Y'all. 10 more days. Y'all see how small my boobies are? They are non, they are literally non-existent. And right now they're a little bit swollen because I'm about to get my monthly friend. So yeah. This is happening in 9 days and I'm a little bit emotional. I'm having cold feet but we're doing it. Like, for real. We're doing it. Eek. Eight more days and today is the day that I do shopping because I need to buy zip-ups and I'm going to vlog that for y'all. Um, yeah. Ah, nervous. Seven more days and at this point I really would appreciate it if you guys don't place judgment. This is my body and my choice. But I am a little bit nervous and I am human so... Six more days and the girl is very nervous. I'm going to be off for two weeks and my sister's going to be managing orders and stuff like that. So I'm not really stressed about that. It's just like the prep for the two weeks because I'm going to be home. And you know, I cannot sit still. I'm very restless. So it's going to be a fun time. Five more days and a part of me is like, I don't know if I chose the right cup size. I mean, I don't have a cup size. Like there is no cup size there. Like this is not even an A cup. You know what I mean? Four more days and this is crazy. I don't know what my life is going to be like with boobies. By the way, they're not going to be big. Did I mention that? Three more days. I woke up. I am an emotional wreck. And all I know is I really want to go through with this. So we're doing it. Two more days. Cry with me. I don't know to be happy or sad, I'm just like 50-50, I'm on edge right now. Oh my gosh, one more day, and at this point I'm like, there's no turning back. I actually need to do like a video try-on haul of everything before and after. Like some of the clothes I love, with boobies and without boobies. Some of the clothes I couldn't wear because I didn't have boobies. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Hello my hunters. we're going shopping today. So basically we're shopping for my two-week recovery of my boob job. I'm a little bit stuffy, you can hear. Um, by the way, I did my nails for shoots and then I needed, I needed to remove the nails because I knew this was coming up and because I do stickers of my own hair products. But anyway, that's besides the point. We're going shopping. You basically need like button up things, zip up things just for easy access because for two weeks, let me show you, you won't be able to move like this, like this. So yeah, zipping up is fine, but you won't be able to move past like elbow length. Like, yeah, yeah. And even, like, lifting for the first few days is going to be really hard. So, zipping up is fine, but you're going to, like, hold here and zip, basically. Yeah, it's going to feel really tight around the area. But anyway, we'll get to that video on the final actual day. But for now, let's go shop. Okay, so the choice of mall is Cavendish. And I'm really hoping there's something at, like, H&M or something. Like, just an in and out. H&M, yeah, in and out. Okay, now you guys know I have a shopping problem and at this point I really hope I don't get anything unnecessary, like, I don't need it. But first, my best friend works in the mall, so I kind of have to get her lunch because she works in the mall. I cannot wait to do bra shopping when I'm done. Like, we have to film it, but I have to do bra shopping. Oh my gosh, I can wear lingerie, y'all. Like, sexy stuff. Okay, so I have to get something for my bestie. She works at the mall, so I just want to get a sandwich. She loves the toasty from Maggie Bean. Okay, done and dusted. Uh, I got like three hoodies, a onesie. I already have a onesie. I'm sorted with PJs, so I'm fine. But in case I get cold, at least I have two onesies, you know what I mean? Okay, so really, I'm just here to show you what I bought. I didn't buy a lot of things, but basically, the gist of what I bought was like zip-ups like this. Because I don't really have zip-ups like this. So one, I got three of those. And they were like, one what? How much were they? I think $1.99. Sorry, I'm really stuffy. $1.99. A little bit pricey for this quality. It's a really crappy quality. It's polyester. It's probably going to make me sweat a lot, but... I really didn't have a choice and I got a black one as well and then I also got some socks because it is getting really cold at night which explains why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling right now 
Uh, I got a black one in the kitty section and the black one was like 150 rand. So yeah, a lot cheaper. It's still polyester. And then I got these uh, socks because yeah, it is pretty cold. And I also got a onesie. Uh, so now I've got two onesies, three um, jackets that I can wear just any pants with. This beautiful onesie. I bought a large because the small seemed like super small. But anyway, we're going to see if this is fine. Oh, it's got a whole... Eek. Anyway. And then um, I've already got like three of those PJs with the button down. So that's going to be fine. Um, so yeah, we're ready. I think I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, it's the night before my surgery and the girl is yeah, busy working because yeah, I feel a little bit sorry for my sister, but she's going to manage. I know she will, but I also will try to do as much as I can before my surgery. So, I'm packing orders. Okay, orders are packed. I still have to put names, the orders to those ones, but these ones are all sorted. I cleaned my office, so this is got to go to the bin. Trash, and then we're bouncing. Today's the day. Today is the day. Zero more days. I'm so anxious. I got knots in my stomach. Um, I need to eat. I've got like two and a half hours more to eat. And then I got to stop eating until four. Yeah. Be with me. I'm going to start with an apple because it's load shedding and I can't even eat um, pap, milli meal, I can't even. So, I got to fill me up, like before nine. So, I have already saved like a few TikTok sounds and a few dances, not the new ones, the old ones that I want to do. While I'm at the hospital, because I know y'all are going to want to be entertained. And it's funny, even in situations like this, I think about y'all. I mean, it's not funny. I love my honeys, but you know what I mean. Hello, Hello I, um, I'm ready. I'm, we are ready. I am literally feel like I'm shitting my pants right now. Like, that's how nervous I Me? am. I'm having a hot dog with some mustard and some tomato sauce. And then I need to drink lots of water. We got this. My sister and my three besties, Nuno, Sharon, and um, Joelle are the ones who are calming my nerves right now. I'm chatting to them all at once. I'm very nervous. Yeah. At this point, my emotions were all over the place. Um, and as usual, I obviously have to pray to God that my surgery goes well. And obviously, I did have doubts, but it's very, very normal. <laughs> what? I'm literally going from happy to sad to emotional to I have all these emotions right now. <laughs> but I know I'm doing the right thing. I know it. And I have all the support that I need. My best friends. Sharon, Joel, Nono and my sister. They were right beside me. And with that I'm so grateful. Let's do this. We can do this. I'm about to have basically the last shower in my two weeks. So let me enjoy my shower. Okay, now I'm ready. Don't play with us. Decided to take a suitcase and ready to go. Ah, it's happening. And just like that, we hit the road, Bestie, and I drove to Panorama Medic Clinic. Um, I am based in the south and Panorama is in the north. And at this point, my nerves were finished. Remember, I, I can drink water until 11 a.m. So that's around the time we got to the hospital. That's my last sip of water. 
I've officially stopped eating and drinking while j- eating at 9 o'clock. I stopped and drinking literally now, 11 o'clock. Besties, yeah. Ready? You're ready. Ready? <laughs> I have briefed her to film what she can. Um, the nerves are killing me. I've got a headache. But we're doing this. And a choice now. Like, there's no turning back. No cold feet. Bye. By the way, I found the pictures of my consult back in 2020. It was actually July 2020. And the size of the boobs that I did, that I was going to do then versus now, is literally pretty much the same. Wait, wait let me show you. Just wait. So basically, this was the size that I went for before. And I think it's pretty much a little bit similar. Maybe slightly smaller. How are you feeling? My nerves are done. <laughs> this is the last time you're going to see me like this. <laughs> the last Zoom. The last time. Oh my gosh, I'm going to feel like a new person. I'm very nervous. I don't know if I must feel like excited, nervous. I mean, I was doubtful this morning, but you always doubt the size. Mm. But I don't know what to feel. <laughs> it's just a new everything. A <laughs> new me, Oda. <laughs> Try to play with me. Under, I don't know, mm. like, you know? But remember, when, once it's under the skin, it looks more natural. So right now, this is the 245, which is the one, the size that I ordered. And this is the 230. The reason I went here was because, like, I wasn't sure of this one. Like, this one just looks, like, s- small. So, ish. Like, look at this before and after. Like, look at this. I'm a belly. I'm Guys, ain't no way, ain't no way. So I put on my jacket and I want to explain something to y'all. It looks really big right now, but it's actually not. It's just because it's not under the skin. But when you go to the side, you can see it's like, let's say this is a pretend skin. It kind of looks more natural then. But because there's no skin right now, it just looks like boom, boom. As opposed to curving, you know what I mean? As opposed to a teardrop. So... So realistically, this is what it would look like. I'm just trying to pull it as tight as possible. And I don't think that's big. Like if I pull this one, we're gonna see how this one is so, can you see the difference? This is like so small. That's like nearing eight up. Mm. So yeah. Okay. Guys, I'm going to tell you the importance of having someone with you because you will have doubts and the people who love you and who are closest to you, they also know you best. So as soon as you get checked in at admission, basically they're going to assign the room to you and then someone is going to escort you to your room and then they're going to let you know and basically brief you. So this is my room. It's a private baby. This is the loo. Oh yeah, that's a story. So that's a story. Anyway, a shower and everything, everything, everything. The bed is a private hospital, your yeah, babes. Um, very nice. Hanavas story. Me over there. <laughs> I know that's right. I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm acting a fool, but I'm very nervous. <laughs> it's 12 o'clock and the lambile. But I can go half past 12 and I am hungry. Anyway, um, the surgery is only at 4.30, so... It's, it's a lot of time. I feel as if I can't sleep for now. I can't sleep for now, yalla. Okay, it's at this point that the nerves are really, really, really kicking in. Um, I mean, I did a few TikToks here and there, but... Yeah. Hello. Okay, take your weight and height. Very important. I'm always acting a fool. I'm on my way to the car to get everything. How are you feeling? At this point, it is really feeling real. I know I say that a lot in the video, but I was super nervous, like anxious and sweaty and just like all over the place um, because it is a big deal. I hate hospitals and it's the first time going under the knife. So, yeah, it is something that I've thought of for years, like I mentioned in part one. Um, And the next part will be the recovery for two weeks and thereafter, the before and after journey, basically. I've been dreading this blue gown and this little underwear thing. Oh my gosh, cringe. I literally have to pee in here and this is what I'm ha- I'm going to have to wear. Like, I love it. Oh my gosh. But, <laughs> what? Not your hair. It's not for my hair, y'all. This is for my booty. <laughs> my cuckoo looks. 
So just prepping my outfit for tomorrow so that when I need to get dressed, everything's pretty much sorted. So now I have to peel this cap. Woo! I'm tired. I've been filming TikToks at this point. Let me tell y'all. <laughs> hey, Mpundas is exposed. It is exposed. And I am very, very much nervous. Like, super nervous. Um, I'm very hungry. It is now 23 minutes past 2. And, yeah. Ndilambile. Literally two more hours to go. Here we go. Two more hours. Oh my gosh, my life is going to change. Go. Most purely. Thank you. The time was just going by really slow because I was hungry. Food options. Very minimal. Breakfast already. I'm struggling. So, yeah. I am so hungry. It is now 5 p.m. and uh, the surgery time got pushed to literally like half past six, 6.45. Um, I genuinely feel like I am fasting today. Um, yeah, I am, am. I got a headache because I'm dehydrated. And yeah, this is not great at all. I don't know. I mean, I'm super nervous, but at the same time, I, I really just want this to happen already because I want to eat. And y'all know how grumpy I get when I don't eat. It's 5 p.m. and they pushed my surgery out. It's show time. How are you okay. feeling? Finally. I'm really hungry. I just want to get this over and done with. Like, don't blow my food like that. <laughs> Here we go. So by the way, a doctor has my phone um, and he was very kind enough to be like, he'll take pictures and stuff like that. Um, but I'm gonna go under the anesthesia just now. So my nose are a little bit done, finish and clear, but yeah. My new boobies. I feel very nervous and very hungry because Dr. Barnard put me lost. <laughs> Light as always. Light as. <laughs> But I'm very excited. I'm very nervous and okay. excited. So we leave the pudding for those. Yes. Leave the pudding. <laughs> and then it began. For those of you asking, you do not feel a thing. You are under anesthesia. Um, you don't feel any pain. You are knocked out fast asleep while they operate. And the operation takes like 45, 30 to 45 minutes. And before you know it, you're out. The anesthesia is also given to you according to your height, your weight, um, and all of those factors. This is the implants that I'm using. At this point, viewer's discretion is advised. Pause now and skip eight seconds. This is basically the before on the right and the after on the left. Okay, so finally, let's talk pricing. For your very first consultation, it is 1,000 Rand. The doctor will also give you another opportunity to come back for the second time to make sure you're happy with the size. I personally would recommend you go with someone just to be sure. Just another tip, the doctor will give you a size according to your body and your measurements which all surgeons use but at the end of the day he cannot decide the size for you so that's why he best recommends you come with someone. So for the Mediclinic, Panorama Mediclinic, you're going to pay 14,000 Rand. The anesthesiist 5,500 Rand. For the implants it costs 9,600 Rand which you can also decide even the day before your procedure if you'd like to change it. Then Dr. Barnard's cost for the surgery is 28,000 Rand. 
If you would like to request a private room in the hospital, it's an additional 2,500 Rand. You buy a bra from Dr. Barnard's practice, which is 250 Rand. An additional medication and script is 600 to 800 Rand. Remember that the cost is based on your city. When I costed this in Durban, it was slightly more. Uh, when I googled it for Joburg, it's also slightly more. This was one of the most affordable options for me personally, and the total is 61,650 Rand plus minus. And then thereafter your surgery, you get a few consults after just to follow up basically. So just to note, based on research, the doctor can also decide not to take you on as a patient if he feels that it is not really something that he would like to do. However, you would still have to pay for the consultation fee. So best find a doctor suited for you. Dr. Yanni Barnard came highly recommended. Screenshot his practice details here to make your booking for your consultation. And just like that, my surgery is over. Okay. I didn't even realize I was sleeping. I was out. Okay, my first reaction. Let's go. Oh, Zinga, hi. Oh, I mean, it's swollen right now. So, two months after. Wow. I got boobs, guys. I am in so much pain right now, but yeah, I just want to sleep. The meal that they served was mac and cheese, and it was not giving. Thank goodness that my sister got me other food. Back to your roots. Back to my roots, pipes. Okay, right now it is 8 minutes past 10 p.m. And they requested my bestie to leave because apparently you were meant to make like a booking for her to stay over, which I did ar arrange with the secretary, but she could have easily forgotten. So I had to request an Uber for her because she doesn't really like to drive at night. So I'm just waiting for her to get home and then I will pass out. I'm starting to feel some pain. Um, but I really feel like I want to burp more than anything else. As you can see, it is now 10 to 11 and I'm still waiting for pain meds and sleeping pills. Okay, so basically I slept for, I want to say two hours and I'm awake. It's 4 a.m. right now. Um, I called the nurse to let me pee at like 2 a.m. But yeah. I can't wait for my sister and my best friend to come. I think I'm a little anxious because I'm at a hospital. But I just want to go home. But I'm in so much pain. Like so, so much pain. A part of me feels that I've been stripped from my womanhood. By men. By women. And even trans women. Now this definitely made me conscious about my body. Not insecure. Just conscious. I hated the fact that I have to shop in the kiwi section as a 30 year old because I don't have boobs. I absolutely hated the fact that I was labeled and referred to as trans woman or gay because I don't have boobs. You know how you get to exercise and lose weight, eat healthy? Great. You can exercise eat a lot of food and gain fat and muscle great you get to squat eat lots of carbs for booty but what do i have to do for boobies i'm definitely not stuffing anything in there i am certainly not not doing breast strokes because we all know that's a myth so i've decided to do this to feel a little bit more feminine i'm in so much pain the nurses and the sisters suggested I stay one more night, but I really can't. I feel like I'm not sleeping because I'm in pain and because the thought of the hospital is just making me anxious. So that means two nights of not sleeping 
the night prior to my surgery where I was super anxious. My emotional my emotions were all over the show. And last night. Tonight I need to sleep. I won't be able to sleep here. Unless I'm put on uh, an anesthesia or something. Okay, so basically um, it is now 22.06 and the nurses have to come and wash me but I'm not able to get up. I had to pee like a bucket. I'm not able to get up until the physio sees me and the doctor sees me because there's like potential of you fainting. So, I have to wait. This is breakfast and to be honest, I really just lost my appetite completely but it wasn't really giving anyway. Morning, Sharon is here. Come play with us. My, my actual nurse <laughs> has arrived. Yeah, sorry for the lateness, eh? I'll do everything now. <laughs> then my best friend Joelle called just to check if everything went smooth and it did. did. Yeah, the nurse is just doing final checks uh, so that I can leave and I'm sitting there in so much pain. By the way, Shirley also came to visit and dropped me some snacks and that was really cute of her. I just can't find the video. These are some of the snacks. By the way, at this point, my sister was like, no way, we're booking you an Airbnb. Okay, finally at home. The drive was bumpy. Like any heel, any turn, my boobs were sore. Um, Sharon and my sister helped me put on this t-shirt just in case I get hot. Um, so just fast forward, my sister picked me up and she booked an Airbnb closer to her just so that she can be on speed dial. And also you really can't do much movement in terms of arm and stuff like that. So it was a massive help. Anyway, um, basically the Airbnb is closer to my sister so that she can be on speed dial. Um, so yeah, I'm good. Next week this time, I will be posting my two-week recovery journey. So until next time, goodbye.